after successfully passing his massive $1.9 trillion bill, COVID stimulus package, U.S. President Joe Biden is aiming for another, and this time it's a mega infrastructure investment package. Now, Biden is set to unveil his mega package today in the city of Pittsburgh, where he launched the campaign two years ago. White House spokesperson Jen Psaki said that the aim of the package is, quote, rebuild our economy and create better paying jobs for American workers. The president has a plan to fix the infrastructure of our country. We're currently 13th in the world. No one believes we should be there. And he has a plan to pay for it, which he will propose. Uh, but right now, once he proposes that, our focus is also on having that engagement and discussion with members of Congress. If they uh, share a goal of building our infrastructure for the future but don't like the way he's going to propose to pay for it, we're happy to look at their proposals. President Biden's project aims to update American highways, roads, bridges, railroads in the country, which were mainly built during the 1950s, 60s and 70s. The American Society of Civil Engineers has long been sounding the alarm on the country's state of infrastructure. It has noted that 45 percent of Americans lack reliable access to public transport services. So far, the Biden administration has not confirmed how much the package will cost, but U.S. media outlets have suggested investments up to $4 trillion. Reuters reported that President Biden is expected to propose the biggest federal tax increase in decades. Now, this might include raising corporate income tax back to 28 percent, increasing taxes for high-income individuals. In the past, both Democrats and Republicans have agreed on the need to modernize infrastructure. Both Donald Trump and Barack Obama had proposed plans for updating the country's crumbling infrastructure, but both failed. Now it remains to be seen if President Biden will succeed where his predecessors had failed. Jagruti Dave continues to be with us. Uh, Jagruti, um, why is President Biden confident that he will succeed where Barack Obama and Donald Trump failed to do so? Yeah, this infrastructure proposal that he is going to um, tell us more about um, in Pittsburgh is um, something that he's been talking about in even during his campaign, uh, campaigning for the presidency. His um, infrastructure is something that both he and his rival at the time, uh, Donald Trump, the former U.S. president, they they were all um, recognizing that infrastructure, uh, U.S. manufacturing, those are important things that people care about. I think with manufacturing again, both. Both Joe Biden and Donald Trump were talking very much about bringing manufacturing back in-house into the United States, no longer relying on uh, foreign countries uh, for products, um, obviously most notably China, um, for both uh, of, of those, uh, for both Joe Biden and Donald Trump. So here in this package, I think, according to reports, we are going to be seeing, you know, um, billions of dollars, approximately $650 billion dollars. Um, uh, to rebuild the country's infrastructure. We're talking about roads, bridges, highways, ports, billions, also towards um, some more social uh, uh, features of the country. So home care for the elderly and the disabled. And we're looking at housing and manufacturing, as I just mentioned. So uh, the electricity, the electric grid, of course, we saw those huge power outages um, in the south of the country um, uh, that, 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 that would cause serious, serious problems. Um, that's something that's going to be looked at, as well as looking at broadband. There are a lot of rural parts of the United States where um, access to good quality broadband is very difficult. And of course, something as basic as drinking water to ensure that every community has drinking water. That is something that is also um, problematic in, in, in many communities across the country. So I think the United States does have some serious infrastructure problems. But as you say, this is something that previous presidents have tried to deal with. And the problem is how much money this is this going to cost and whether Republicans are going to back it. Should Joe Biden, you know, some centrist Democrats perhaps are thinking that Joe Biden should opt for uh, a package that appeals to both Republicans and Democrats so that it is a bipartisan package. Others, maybe on the more progressive wing, are perhaps thinking, well, Joe Biden should use the slim majority that the Democrats have in Congress um, to put push through some more radical proposals that um, could f uh, could herald in some sharp changes. So I think it'll be interesting to hear what exactly Joe Biden's proposing, how much it costs and whether 
there are any Republicans that are willing to get behind it. Absolutely, Jagdhi. You know, uh, President Biden, in the initial days of his presidency, has been battling a lot of issues. Now he's proposing this infrastructure redevelopment plan. He is battling the rise in hate crimes against uh, the Asian American community. He is also battling the migrant crisis and, as well as the pandemic. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.